Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm gonna to be doing a review on the recent episode of A Teacher. I've already lost count, I think we're on episode seven. Um, bear with me. So this was the first episode without Claire and it's obviously skipped forward. It's just Eric, it's his life post Claire or as he thinks. Um, I have my handy dandy notes per usual. So I'm gonna just kind of go through and hopefully not miss anything. Um, let me start out by, we're back to the black music again. It's kind of a skip forward. I just wanted to make sure I covered that because I missed out my first review on this show. But yeah, we're back to this music because Eric's in college. Um, it has skipped forward at least a year because he was a senior in high school when the series had started and now he's essentially rushing fraternity. And yes, yeah, so that obviously means he's in college now. So a year has passed. So Claire has been locked away or I guess through trial and all those kind of things for about a year now. So it first starts out um, with partying. Um, uh, sorry, Eric is with his friend's older brother, Logan's older brother. Logan is who I refer to as a 30 year old. So he's with him at his college. So he's still in Texas and Eric looks exactly the same. That's why I was mainly confused if time had passed. I was like, is this boy aging? I mean, I know it's the actor or whatever. Like, is he aged at all? Like how old is he? Is he still 18 now? But now he's probably like 19. He couldn't be 20 yet, but like maybe about 19 or so. Um, so it's a year in, he's drinking a lot, he's smoking a lot. I could kind of put emphasis on that to be like, maybe this is how he's coping because homeboy is drinking from a bottle, straight hard liquor. And it's like, all right, so obviously man has some growing to do. He, I mean, it was a very traumatic experience. He was with his teacher, someone of authority that was abusive essentially. So it is a lot to cope with. It's a lot to try and recover from. I don't know if people even recover from this kind of thing. So it's kind of showing that on like his actions already. Um, what I didn't like and what was expected, his peers around him, I wouldn't say they're his friends yet, but they're like Logan's friends. They're like, oh dude, I know who you are. I know what happened. You're not gonna talk to us about it. And he's like, talk about what? And they're like, um, Logan's brother, I don't know his name, sorry. He's like, he told us that you hooked up with your teacher. You're a legend. Like everyone knows you, things like that. Like you're paraded around here. And as Eric looks when he's like uncomfortable, he's literally just like, Kind of looking like down, I was like, this is really awkward. We're probably about 10 minutes into the episode considering they're only like 25 minute episodes. And he's wincing, he's cringing. He's like, uh, it looked like he didn't want to talk about it. And then he surprised me. He essentially pissed me off. He's like, yeah, uh, she, I don't want to talk about this. Basically they asked like intimate details about her cause she's older woman, things like that. And I thought he was gonna like push it to the side and he like answered like, oh, she doesn't shave or she shaves, like things like that. And they're all clapping him and applauding him because he answered the question about that. And I'm like, oh, I mean, again, he's 19. These are what boys talk about. They talk about sex, women's bodies, things like that, just exchanging all that. And he, how would I say this? Like added to it, he contributed to the conversation instead of just like, let's just not talk about it. I'm uncomfortable with it. But I'm also aware that guys, when they're that age, they're not really good at like being open with their emotions and saying like, I don't want to talk about this. I'm uncomfortable. Like they just, I guess, have to have that masculine, strong, like face about things and just like, Uncomfortable is not a thing I feel like for guys or like they feel like they have to be taught they're not uncomfortable at any moment They have to be strong and again very open or whatever especially about sex um, But yeah, the guy was like you sent her ass to jail like a savage and it just again it made me cringe heavily um, At the party Eric ended up hooking up with a girl and here we are again. She's like, I know who you are. I'm like it makes sense because Actually, I don't want to say it makes sense because I feel like whenever these things happen I would think that they wouldn't put the person's name with the, the minor's name because they want to try and keep their identity hidden. But I also do think that they do show the minor's name depending, especially if like it's buzz around school and people know, I guess other schools will talk because that's what the girl said. She's like, oh, my school, we talked about, we knew about you. Is that how you learned how to do the thing that they were doing? I was like, one, why would you ask that? Two, why would you ask that while doing that? I feel like the mood would be completely ruined and thrown off. I'd be like, ew. Like, I don't, it's just like a weird, uh. And again, there, she was drunk. Again, I don't really like to use drunk as an excuse for any kind of action or things said. But I was like, is that your excuse for asking that? Because that's just super weird. But I was confused. Um, and then the next scene, um, it's Eric and Logan's brother. They're outside kind of just like drinking, eating, just a college kind of atmosphere and stuff. And his brother said Logan ended up at Cornell. I doubt that. I feel like that guy, no. Cornell's supposed to be really hard school, whatever. Small detail, but I was just like, mm. said that. And then in that conversation, the brother's like, so um, Claire, or you know, the teacher, how do you feel about that? Like 
he cannot get through a conversation without someone asking him about her. Like, I know that's obviously the intent of the TV show. Like, they're trying to, like, just get him more and more uncomfortable and just talking about it. But he cannot catch a break. They're just like, oh, so what about her? Oh, yeah, you can talk about that? Oh, yeah, what happened to her? Like, it's just like, let the man breathe. But also, again, the whole man thing, he's making it seem like he's not uncomfortable. So they're just kind of like, I don't want to say he's, like, allowing them to talk about it. But maybe that's what it is. Like, he's just not making it seem like he just doesn't want to talk about because it it's clear. And, um they were talking about how she's in county jail and the brother is like i feel like she was sentenced too hard they like were really hard on her about it and eric's like yeah i think the same thing too i try to like get them to like not be as hard about it but i don't just like again like defending her i think i said this in my last review like that's all he's ever wanted to defend her and the best for her like is she even thinking about him in that way like was she ever thinking the best for him i don't think so i think she was thinking about herself the majority of the time but eric was always clear 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 like that was like the center of just everything in his mind so obviously surprise surprise he tried to defend her trying to i mean i don't know if this is a trial i don't really know what what, what predicament because obviously we fast forwarded it like at least a year but the prosecutor came down on her but he said he's been trying not to think about the situation anymore and then the next scene um eric is in his dorm room and he's on his laptop i just feel like i watched enough tv that you kind of like know what's going to happen he was just on his laptop and i already knew he's going to search her that's what's going to happen so he's like doing his homework he's typing he's like hmm. goes goes onto a browser types in claire wilson i think that's her last name again and it shows like the pictures of her with like being arrested the headlines i think it said sexual offender i think she has to be registered as that because he was a minor when it started um just like the dates of all that, she's 32 or she was 32 and it happened. So again, not saying that she was still over age, regardless, she was still older than him, but 32 approximately. Um, what confused me, I swore it said 2014, like when she was arrested or when it started, but I swore if I think back to the first episode that it said 2019 like on all, all the banners. So like the date's kind of confusing to me, but I still do know it's like 2010s in that window of time. But I was like, hmm, okay, still confused on the time window, but. It also, after that, flashed to Eric being at home because, you know, the show just loves jumping scenes. So he's at home getting, having dinner with his mom, his brothers and stuff. And his mom's just like talking to him. Like, how are you? How is the frat? How is Logan's brother? And he's like, oh, he's showing me around. He's showing me the ropes because he's older than him. So I guess kind of like that sense of like a, a mentor. I don't know. And then I think the brothers got up or something. I didn't really see that happen. And his mom's like, so have you gone to counseling? And he's like, what do you mean? And then she eventually, I guess, breaks the news to him that Claire's gonna be coming home and counseling for the best of him. And as any young boy, teenager, young adult, boy, male, he's like, I don't need counseling. I don't need this. Like, it's not necessary. I feel like men, let alone young men, are very reluctant to therapy or counseling because it makes it seem like they're weak. I don't, it's unfortunate that that's like even the mindset that they have to I guess, have that ingrained in their minds, but I feel like it's just like a very prominent, popular thing. And all of a sudden I feel like he's like, I don't need it. I'm not broken over this. Like, I don't, like, I'm good. I don't need this and eventually stomps off. He's like, I don't want to have this conversation with you. I'm going to go back home. I have homework. She's like, no, but she's just trying to have like a mom to son situation. It was a very traumatic experience. She had to watch her son crying over essentially him distancing himself from her. And then now she's trying to like help him grow from that. And he's just not having it. Uh, then the next scene that was kind of awkward so eric texts the girl i think it was the same girl um but a girl um and he goes to her room and it looks like i don't want to say i got them confused it kind of looks similar it looked like the girl from the party and like i kind of like space this part out sorry about this because i'm trying to be a good reviewer in that sense but she is basically like saying she doesn't want to do anything because she's a feminist and like he's a victim a survivor due to everything because obviously the teacher like that like he's a survivor because like she abused him essentially and he's like what are you talking about she's like no i just don't think we should do anything and he's like well we already hooked up a typical young boy young college guy kind of reaction to when something happens and a girl says no and they're pushing on it he's like but you let me do it before and she's like well i'm saying no now and again he gave the most guy reaction he's like well, what the fuck is this? Um, I said, you up, you up means I'm gonna smash. And she was just like, when he walks out and I'm like, oh God, like this guy is showing his guy colors. I don't know how to say this, but it was just very cringe, but I guess expected. They were portraying the college young guy image really well, cause that's kind of how guys act in college, let alone that age. Um, and he leaves and he goes to like his frat brother friend things and they start drinking. 
I could kind of see they were gonna like go out and do stuff, whether it was a party or just be dumb. And it was the latter. They went to go drink while driving. I'm pretty sure that the drivers had already drank some and he was drinking while he was with them. It was about four or five of them on this like Jeep. And I never seen the scene over and over and over on the trailers. Once Eric was kind of like hanging over the Jeep while they were driving, I knew this boy was gonna fly off. And I was like, this is how he got the scars on his face. Cause there was showing those trailers in the very beginning when he had all the scratches and stuff. I was thinking he got in a fight with Claire's husband or someone attacked him or something like that. But I was like, let me just keep watching. So they're drinking, they're drinking, they're drinking. It's not even like beers, like they're drinking hard liquor. This whole entire episode is what it seems. And they're drinking, they're drinking, they're drinking. And then Eric, for whatever reason, starts to climb up on top of it. And then they're driving on this dirt road, they're swerving, Eric flies off. Again, you know how I said I'm really good at predicting things? When he got up, I already knew he was gonna be like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Tell me why he got up and it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, why are you cheering? You just flew off a truck. You're, you're, you're in pain, you can tell he's in pain, but he was drinking, so obviously maybe it's like the opposite of it, but you know, if they were sober, it'd been a, maybe a different reaction. He starts cheering, his friends start cheering, they all cheer, and the boys are all like, yeah, 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 you're the man, he's not the man, he flew off because you guys are being belligerent, you're being dumb, but this is showing that he's being reckless now. All this stuff is catching up, sorry if you guys can hear some stuff, sorry, this is the garage, but there's all this like catching up to him, he's being reckless, he's drinking excessively, he's partying a lot, I know. I know that's what happens when guys are in college, but I feel like this is just his way of trying to like escape everything going on. Everyone's asking him constant questions about the Claire situation, about the teacher thing. People were like, oh, I know who you are about it. So I feel like he's just trying to escape by drinking a lot. And that's obviously not the best way to do it. It doesn't help, it doesn't work, but he's drinking. And again, this is when I saw that they were doing the old school music. I forgot what song was playing. I was singing along to it, but I was laughing because I'm like, oh, all the fun times are gone. It's gonna be all somber, but no, we're hearing the, the tunes that you would hear in a black party, but there's no black people in this cast. But we're not gonna focus on that. Um, so the next day, and like, or maybe like just daylight, um, you see all of them dressed up, they're on their suits and stuff. I'm like, okay, so it's fraternity time. I was not in a sorority or fraternity, so I'm not really sure how the swearing in goes in or if it's the pledging, I don't know the order, so correct me. I don't know about it. I'm just gonna say that now. But basically they're all dressed up and they're saying their names. I don't know if you call everybody's name. I don't know if everyone makes it at this turn, but I thought it was gonna be like a rejection or something because his face was scratched up. I was wrong. So he calls his name and you see him just red everywhere he's cut up and everything, but it's like swearing end day or pledge day, whatever the difference is. And they go on the other side and I'm like, okay, so he got in, I don't know. Then it kind of flashes like for a second and they have like ties or bandanas on their eyes. I was like, oh, this is the hazing part. Hazing, I just know it's just very dumb. They do some really reckless things and make them drink profusely. Some people die in real life from hazing because they just go too crazy and hard. And I was like, this show gets pretty dark and it gets pretty intense. So I know they're gonna do something really crazy. Don't know what it's gonna be related to, but they're gonna go wild with this already now. So you see them all tied up and everything. And then like the seniors or whoever, the older ones are there and like, yeah, you guys, this is the point where to like do stuff. Like, so let's wait and um, hopefully you got your money. So you're gonna tip this person. It's like a dancer who comes out. She looks in her thirties. Like she looks grown. You know how Claire was like a, oh, she's a teacher. She looks young though. This woman looked grown. So I was like, why do I feel like this is going to make Erica comfortable? Because she's like older. People keep referencing the teacher situation. She looks older than all of them. This is going to get really weird. She starts dancing. She's, I'm going to say she's stripping, but she does go down like her bra and like underwear and stuff. She's dancing. She's on the split. She's twerking is what it looks like. Things like that. I'm like, okay, so how can this change? She's dancing. She's dancing. I think they tell her to go to Eric or I don't know if she just ends up going to Eric grabs him by his hand, picks him up, he goes to go sit down, and she, he's like, uh. And then er, she starts saying like, oh, I know about you, you are a bad student, you're not, and it is very like, okay, let's just, can we shorten the scene a little bit, because this is really cringe. He's kind of just like, I don't wanna like make weird faces, but he's like, please, like, like stop. Like he's obviously uncomfortable. It's like she's relating it to his experience. He's obviously traumatized by it. He's, I don't know if he's drunk at this point, but you know, like it just was not good, and he was not okay. You could tell he was not okay by his face as we know. And she's like, yeah, I'm gonna give you some A's or pass. Just being that whole Dama, Dama, the Matrix, 
um, submissive kind of thing with the teacher and like the whole bad, naughty, no, not cute, not sexy, and all that. But she's trying to do that and he's just not into it. Not saying he was supposed to be, but obviously he has things to recover from. It's traumatic for him. And she's just triggering all of that. And eventually he pushes her off. I kind of say this. Um, he said he didn't want any of this. And like he asked her to stop and like pushed her and like got off. And then um, Logan's brother like comes to chase him like, hey, what's going on? Just calm down, it's not that deep. And then Eric's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this. He's like, no, you don't have to do that part. Like it's fine. He's like, no, I don't want to do this. He seemed pretty grim. I don't know what he meant by that. I was like, are you going to drop out? Like, what does that mean? He like loosens his tie and goes back to his dorm. And there's a guy sitting outside. I was like, does that mean Eric's roommates and they're hooking up and like it's the whole sock on the doorknob thing like don't come in and he's like hey like are you so-and-so's roommate he's like yeah it's like oh my roommate's doing this so I don't really I think I don't know I think his roommate could have been in there maybe not and he's like oh and like it looks like it's gonna be his new friend or something and I'm like okay like where is this going and he's like yeah well my roommate's in there so I can't even go in the room and Eric's like that sucks and he's like do you want to do no 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 Eric knows this is the ziplock bag like the baggie he's like are those mushrooms and he's like yeah they're shrimps Mushrooms gross me out. Let me just give like a five second. They gross me out. They're weird. I don't like them. I just don't like mushrooms in general. So the thought of even just eating mushroom drugs or I don't even know how they're made, <laughs> but that just creeps me out. But they do it. And I'm like, could this not be any more reckless? I'm not, I don't, drugs are scary to me in, in general, but doing drugs with someone you don't know, is that a good idea? Like, I don't know. That's kind of weird to me, but he does it. They're doing their, or they do it, or I'm assuming they eat it and they're laying on the grass and Eric looks very at peace, sedated. I'm like, okay, he's on one. And then um, the guy's talking about who knows why I'm not even paying attention to him. Cause Eric is like, I miss her. I miss her so much. I said, woof. I thought he didn't, I mean, oh man. I don't wanna say he didn't miss her. I feel like again, as a boy, he's trying to suppress his emotions about it. Supp suppress like what he's thinking pretending he doesn't care pretending like she's in the past but he's like i miss her and he's like gonna cry it sounded like he was crying or about to and i'm like oh my god this is just so so sad like what's gonna happen now at this point but a lot and i guess we kind of were expecting to see like a post claire thing that was it was about a year later no claire i'm trying to think there's no josh no logan it was just like him in college obviously struggling to cope with everything struggling to even like get a grip on all of it because yeah he's struggling homeboy struggling and there is i think three more episodes so at some point i'm assuming claire has to be on the next one if it's going to be a few days in the way that this series loves to skip episodes and skip sorry not skip episodes they skip years and things like that she's gonna have to be in the next episode not the next next one so i'm kind of interested to see how that's going to be because i know in the trailers they were showing him visiting her so that's kind of interesting saying like you ruined my life and his hair was longer so i'm again, curious when that's going to be um it seemed a little bit more interesting this episode than the last one. The last one seemed like a drag somewhat, but yeah, this is quite the episode. Um, let me know what y'all think. I love commenting with you guys down in the comments, so let me know what y'all think of the episode. And yeah, I just love doing reviews on this and love communicating with you guys. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye!